Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. We're in John chapter 3. Last week we talked about Nicodemus, and Jesus continues to talk to him. And notice that Jesus says in verse 14, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up, an allusion to the crucifixion. Verse 15, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Now, the golden text of the Bible, let's look at verse 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. Now, I want to talk just a little bit about God's redemptive work. We'll spend some time this week on this particular section. This is a beautiful section. Some people refer to it as the little Bible, the golden text of the Bible, because it tells us so much. But let me tell you this. It is not all-inclusive. Oh, I am so grateful for the unconditional universal love of God. But at the same time, there's more involved. I want you to think about God's redemptive work for a little bit. And we'll put this chart up and we'll put it on the, in the comment section of the uh, Facebook feed and the YouTube feed. God's redemptive work. We realize that we're saved by his love, John chapter 3 and verse 16. But also, if you look at Titus 3 and verse 5, we realize that we are saved by his mercy. We also see in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 5, as well as Ephesians 2 and verse 8, we're saved by his grace. If you notice in uh, John 3, 16 and 17, as well as 1 Timothy 1, 5, John 14, 6, we're saved through Christ. If you look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 4, you notice we're saved because Christ died for us. Also, if you notice Romans 5, 9, 1 John 1, verse 7, Colossians 1, 14, we're saved through the blood of Christ. And then also, 1 Thessalonians 1, 5, we're saved because this has been made known by the Holy Spirit. And then consider John 16, 13, this has been made known by the apostles. Now, this gospel continues to be propagated through the gospel, through the word of God, proper preaching of the word today. John 3.16 is important, but it is not all-inclusive. Join us again tomorrow.